Polo a la Brasa is an incredible Peruvian dish of roasted chicken served with a herby and lime mayonnaise based sauce. If you want to get truly authentic, you can barbecue or grill the marinated chicken, but it's so convenient to roast this in an oven. Peruvian chicken is traditionally enjoyed with a green sauce made with a spicy yellow pepper paste. This isn't exactly something you can generally get from your local supermarket, although you can order this online, or do as I've done, omit it, and let the jalapenos complete the rich, sour and herby flavour of the sauce. Prepare to be blown away! Here's the ingredients list. I'll put a copy of these down in the comments below so you can copy. I'm going to spatchcock this bird. You don't have to, you can roast it whole, but it does cook more evenly a little bit faster and the skin turns out crispier if you do. Firstly, let's make sure the cavity is empty. You don't want to come across an unwanted gizzard when you open it up now, do you? Turn it so it's on its tummy with its legs away from you, almost like it's praying. Which is a little late for the bird if you ask me. Now, at the top of the bird, you will see a nobble that pokes out. This is the neck and the spine runs either side of it. Take your kitchen shears or knife and cut either side of the nobble, following the spine. As you can see, it just pops out, opening up the cavity. But we aren't finished just yet. We need to break the breastbone to allow it to completely flatten the carcass. Do you see where I'm pointing? Take a sharp knife and cut a few times on the white cartilage. Underneath is the joint of the bone. And simply pull the two halves apart to part the bones. And that's it. You've successfully spatchcocked. Oh, I almost forgot. Remove the wingtips because they tend to burn. Now we've finished poultry surgery, preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius and place the chicken in your roasting pan. In a bowl, combine the olive oil, the lime juice, garlic, salt, cumin, paprika, sugar, pepper and oregano. Place the bird on the outside with the marinade, massaging it in. Then use your fingers to loosen the skin around each of the openings. Spoon some of the mixture under the skin so the flavours get in direct contact with the meat. I mean, who hasn't worn a chicken as a glove before? What, no one? Just me? When the oven is ready, pop your bird in the oven for 20 minutes at the hot temperature. Then give it a baste and reduce the temperature to 175 degrees Celsius and continue to roast for another 90 minutes. You can baste the chicken every now and again. Once it's ready, take it out, cover and let it rest for 20 minutes for maximum juiciness. While it's resting, let's make the sauce, which is so easy. 
Combine all of the ingredients in a food processor or a blender and puree. You can store this in the fridge if you make it earlier until you're ready to serve. And there you have it, an unusual and accessible take on a roast chicken with a bright sauce and it's amazing with roast potatoes. Well if you like this video why not subscribe and see what's coming up next. And if you like the video you'll be doing me a solid otherwise the llama gets it. Well here's another recipe I think you'll enjoy so until next time bye.